Hey there, welcome back to my channel if you're returning or welcome if you're new. It's story time. The very first time I had an anxiety attack, it was when I was like 20 years old. And when it happened, it was pretty scary. So I was driving home. Fortunately enough, um, my boyfriend was driving behind me so I wasn't alone completely, but he was driving his car, I was driving my car. And when I was about like maybe five to 10 minutes into the trip, it was like 10-ish, 11-ish at night anyway, so it was late. Um, five to 10 minutes into the drive, I started to feel a weird, funny feeling and it was starting to like, boil in my chest. I don't know how to describe it, but it was like I was starting to lose control of my breath, if that makes sense. Breathing's automatic, right? You don't think about it, it just happens. But in this instance, it felt like, you know, that automatic motion of breathing. It felt like it was forcing my body to breathe in a way that made no sense. So, like a fight or flight type of breath. I started to hyperventilate and breathe really heavily and <sighs> all that jazz and I had no idea why I couldn't stop it. Didn't know why it even started in the first place. So I had to skirt, pull over because obviously I can't not breathe and drive. So I had to figure that out. So I pulled over to the nearest parking lot, got out the car, and when I tell you, I was trying to figure out for the life of me why I was hyperventilating and how to make it stop. I took out my ponytail, I loosed my hair, I was trying to massage my head and relax. I splashed water on my face, I was trying to cool myself down. I was trying to walk it off, Chile. Oh my gosh. I, I was freaking out and it was like, I was trying to calm down but because I had no idea what was going on, I was freaking out even more. It was just one big old like hot mess of panic. Eventually I got to calm down with the help of my boyfriend and thank God, I was able to control it enough to be able to drive the car home. Throughout the whole drive, it was like, you know that's, you know how like you have that like when you were a child and your mom gave you a good ass whooping and you got that. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was like that throughout the rest of the drive. I was like doing that like after a good ass whooping type breathing, like, <gasps> like I couldn't <laughs> make it stop. So uh, the whole way home, I was doing that. And again, I had no idea what it was at the moment nor why it was happening. Now currently, now that I know more, I can say that it was definitely because one, I was running on empty. I had no food in me for the whole day because of X, Y, Z reasons why I was so busy that I couldn't eat. I was, my body had nothing. It had no energy to run off of. On top of that, I was a caffeine drinker and if you know anything about anxiety, caffeine and anxiety does not mix. So if I were to be consuming caffeine, like regular cups of coffee, I'm instantly more jitter, my head feels more poundy, like all that jazz happens. So the fact that I had no food in me, bad diet, and I also was taking in caffeine as well. So those three things probably was setting up my body for failure throughout the whole week, month, who knows how long this was building up in me to happen that night, but it was, it was definitely an error on my end for not paying attention to how my body was being treated. And now with that knowledge, of course, I'm more kinder to my body. And because I'm more kinder to my body, I haven't had a panic attack, a 
for a long while now. And there were some points in time when um, I would feel it building, but for the most part, nope, I don't have them anymore. And they really easily could come back too because there are moments like when I'm driving, and again, I have no idea why it happens specifically when I drive. It's probably because it requires so much like focus and attention that it's like stressful because I, I'm not, oh, the type that enjoys driving. I just, I just hate driving no matter the distance. Maybe it might be because of that. Don't know. But um, even moments today, there will be, I can tell when my body is, it's being pushed over its limit and it'll start to try to creep its way, but it's not gonna fully come out because I've, taken preventative measures to make sure that it doesn't go full blown. So super scary, but definitely a learning moment for me to have better self care. If you like this video, definitely give me a like and a subscribe for more content about self care, body love, and overall me encouraging you to help care for you. Until next time, see ya. Bye.